I understand, Natalia, when you first met Linda Hamilton, it was actually in the audition process yeah. when you came to LA. Will you share a little bit about that experience? I went to LA to do this callback and I got to the studio and this beautiful lady was there and she was like, oh, do you want water? Here's makeup, what do you need? And I'm like, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, thank you, yeah. So Ben, it was like Tim Miller who came out, our director is great, and he was like, finally you're here. Oh, you met Linda Hamilton, our star. I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't believe this. Like she, was that Linda Hamilton? Of course, it's been 35 years since, you know, sure. like first Terminator and I didn't recognize her. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I cannot believe I'm doing a callback with Linda Hamilton. This, that was your second? Yeah, and oh, I'm wow. like, this has to be an important role in the movie. You, I had no idea what like the character was in the movie. And, and you know, I was so excited and then we started doing the scene and it was a really emotional scene. And at the end, of, I, I mean, she was like hugging me and she was holding my hand and she was so warm and supportive. At the end of the scene, we were all crying <laughs> in the room, like all of us, it was like a collective it was amazing, it was magical, and that doesn't happen, you know, like in every audition. So I, I love her, and, you know, I, I'm really grateful because I do think one of the biggest reasons I, I got the role it was because of her. One in turn, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Terminator, mm -hmm. but to get to come in and be a Terminator and then also have him still be in the film, right. kind of what were the conversations that you had with him like? Just, it's funny because he has this group of people, that he's, that his team, the legendary Billy Lucas, his stuntman, Dieter, his stand-in, Walter, his acting coach, and they, they, uh, they've been running together for 30 plus years, so it's fun to just be in that little circle. And to start to get into that mode where we start to take little shots at each other and rib each other, and that's when you know he loves you. You know he's accepted you and he's treating you as a friend. And um, uh, I just uh, to to go through the experience and to have him be there um, to kind of shepherd the whole thing. And eventually, in a lot of ways, kind of did a bit of a, a torch passing thing, which which is I uh, I really love, just in the sense of his work ethic and his discipline and his uh, his process. So kind of passed on a lot of those of those traits and those qualities and I'm really thankful that I had the opportunity to be with him.